Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Well, I'm still camped here at the Saddle Mountain Dispersed Camping Area, and I thought today I'd take a hike up into the mountain <clears throat> area. I've heard from several folks there's a, um, some neat uh, ancient petroglyphs up there, so I'm going to go see it for myself. And I thought I'd take you along and uh, show you the landscape once you get closer to the mountain. Seems as you get closer, <clears throat> closer to the, the canyons up there, the vegetation thickens up and it's really pretty. Nice morning this morning. I think we'll probably get up in the high 60s today, but right now it's fairly, fairly cool. So nice, nice time for a hike. So let's go. Let's follow some of the BLM roads make it easy hiking to get close but you can see some of these uh, roads you wouldn't want to pull an RV through they're basically 4x4 four four Jeeps ATVs so they dump down into some of these washes Uh, route 8209. Getting close to the place I camped at uh, last year. This one was a little further in than where I am now, but it was nice and flat right here. Set up camp for about a week. Getting a little more closer. You can see some of the saguaros start to thicken up. Look really pretty with the backlight, morning backlight on them. Nice little area here. Although it's a long way in, rocky trail. A little too much for my uh, fifth wheel to get way back in here. Starting to get the heart pumping. So uh, goes quite a bit uh, uphill. Slowly, it's a slow rise. Just following this little road. I think they're right behind this little knoll here. That's what I'm looking for. See, there's starting to be some different types of cactus. Starting to see uh, some choy and barrel cactus and stuff on the ground. Let's see where I am. Oh. Yeah, I'm making tracks, making tracks. Those people over there have a, a nice little campsite. Okay. Keep going, keep going. You can see if you have the right type of vehicle, you can really get uh, buried in here. You can get right up against the, the cliffs. Let's see what this sign says. Please erase traces. Don't erase traces of America's past. Archaeological resources are fragile, irreplaceable. Sites in this area are periodically modern monitored by federal law enforcement personnel or volunteer site stewards. Oh, I think I'm on the right track. I'm on the right track. Got some signs. Okay. Another sign. Closed route to protect cultural resources. So I guess that uh, means no traffic. I don't think it means no foot traffic. Let's see if we can find what we're looking for. Seems to be a little trail here. Oh, I see another sign up there. Oh, 
there's one right up there. There we go. Old petroglyphs on a rock. It's about a six foot long walk rock. Not very big, but they're in pretty good shape. It's really pretty when you get up close here to the mountain. It gets a lot more lush, a lot more cactus, and you can hear a bird up there. A little more wildlife around. I heard there's some uh, mountain sheep in here. I think bighorn sheep. Probably some wild burrows or whatever. I'll just keep walking and exploring, see if I can find any more. There. So you can see this little. Uh, canyon or wash here is really lush and it's quite a bit lusher up here because this stays in the shade a long time like we're probably getting close to 11 o'clock and it's still in the shade so a lot more greenery up here that's pretty cool the way the sun's coming through neat and one lone big saguaro overlooking everything. Oh, and a jet goes by. I love when I'm going through a, a desert and then I spot a little bit of color, a little bit of life springing. There's been a lot of rain. And in this time of year, you don't usually don't see these, but these are probably little... Uh, Little poppies getting ready to, as soon as the sun hits, they'll open up. Starting to show up here. It's always cool to see. It's the thing about the desert, it looks really dead, rocky and desolate, but then when you get in and start exploring areas, you actually find quite a bit of life. See, there's lots getting ready to spring to life up here. I'll continue up this wash to that saddle up there and see what we see. Oh, I just had to stop and show you this uh, Ocotillo plant. It's huge and it's in full leaf. Even some of the blooms are starting to show up. Nice. This is a good thing for people that say, oh, you go in the desert and you camp on the dirt in a big gravel parking lot. What the heck are you doing that for? Well, a lot of times you put on a good pair of shoes, go for a hike, and this is the scenery you get. Well worth it. Oh, check all this lichen that's on the rocks here. You wouldn't think that would be here. Dry desert like this, but I guess it gets enough moisture all the time to grow. Really pretty. Some flowers over here. Lots of these bushes are blooming. I don't know all my desert bushes that well, but I think this might be maybe a. I don't know. Someone will tell us. Pretty though. You see them along the interstates a lot, actually. Over here, hiding behind here, we got a little barrel cactus making a little home in there. Lots of swarrows. Look at the ground cover. Yeah, we've had quite a bit of rain. I've, and the guy was telling me a couple of tail ends of hurricanes came into Arizona a while back and dumped a lot of water. It's kind of made it seem like spring in the middle of winter for some of these plants. A lot of these desert plants, they don't wait for 
for spring. If they got the water, they go to town. We got water. The animals like these little pools that develop in all the nooks and crannies. I'll be liking that. Okay. Go. Through here. Oh. Some kind of neat little uh, reddish flowers here. Coming off this super prickly bush. Oh. Getting too close for the focus. There we go. getting a little slow now. Gotta watch it. Always hike with a pole. Actually I should show you my cool new pole. Anne got me this for Christmas. I had one of these before and I basically wore it out. It's by a company called Letke, made in Czechoslovakia. This is the Sierra model and it's also the photo photo model. So on the top, this little knob pulls off, and there's a, a screw that you can you can put a camera on it and use it as a monopod. And my old ones had twist twist locks, but these have these really cool. You open and then you can adjust the the size to suit you. And the other cool thing about it, there's a rubber uh, tip that pulls off, and this is a carbide steel tip. So let me demo that. You come up to a rock. It'll dig in for you and not slip, which is awesome for these desert rocks. So, yeah, I highly recommend anybody hiking get something like this. This is a, a carbon a carbon fiber one, so it's super light, hardly anything. And that's my steel about that. Okay, not too far, not too far. into the sun. Quite the temperature change. Goes from maybe uh, 45 right up to 65 right away. Here we go. Should be able to see the old RV from here. So this will show you why I'm huffing and puffing so much. Look how high I've come up. We'll just zoom in to where, where I'm camped. Should be able to see the old uh, happy flag. That's one reason I like to put that up. A hike and I can always find the rig again. There we are. Just camped with a friend of mine that came over. He lives not far away. Came and spent a little while with me. Cool. What a view. So this is where I just came up, right up this little gully here, up to that big Ocotillo and then across these rocks. I don't know if I'm going to go up any higher. I don't, I'm by, by myself so I don't want to get too far. I'm still in cell range right now. So I don't want to get out of cell range in case something happens to me. It's not a good thing to really hike alone, but uh, Anne can't hike right now. She's got some joint problems. So I'm kind of on my own. Just look over the edge here. Whoa. You can see that gully looks interesting too. You can hike up over into that. Not feeling that today. I want to get back before the sun gets too hot. So I think I'm just going to follow this path down here along this side. See where I get. Cool. So on the back side of those guys' campsite, they have a nice little campsite perched up on a 
little knoll, so good views around. I just came across this neat little thing. I don't know if this is historic or could have been built in the last five years, who knows, but looks like someone went to work stacking rocks. Built a little uh, windbreak or something up here. So quiet today. Gotta love it. No wind in here. Give you a little look here. It'll bore the heck out of some people. Other people love to see the the landscapes that you run into down here. At this end of this video, I'll throw up a Google Earth uh, image just to show you exactly where I am right now. Awesome. I just love this. You must really want to live <laughs> this little tiny saguaro. All it gets is a little bit of a moisture out of some rocks. Wow. God, that chick's got a bad cough. I gotta avoid her for sure. Hope the wind isn't blowing my way. Okay. Down, 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 down. Oh. Made her back down. Back on the flats. guy he didn't do so good she's too bad dude Almost there, almost there. I'm going to show you a couple neat little uh, rock art things folks have done here at their campsites. Before we get back to the trailer. This is actually a neat little campsite. It's really far in. And someone's built a nice little fire ring. Done a little bit of uh, rock sculpturing here. Some twirls and hearts. See, they've collected the, I think it's called pronounced Chalcedonia. It's a gem that uh, you can find around here. A lot of people come out rock hounding in the, the area looking for this stuff. And you can find fire agates too. It's kind of neat. People do that, I like that. There's a bigger one down here with a couple of hearts. Last year, uh, Anne made a really cool photograph of it. There it is. Nice little swirly bit and two big hearts. Well, there's little hearts too in the hearts. Someone spent a little bit of time on that. Oh, well, 
that was a nice little hike, a little morning hike. Give you kind of a little look at what I like to do when we're out here camped in the middle of nowhere, out in the desert. Not always just doing mods and repairs and happy hours. Sometimes I actually get out and uh, enjoy the landscape. Till next time, Ray from LoveTheRV.com. Happy trails, everyone. Cheers. Okay, I promised you a little satellite view of the hike. So here's Interstate 10 to the north, and here's where we camped on the blue dot. I'm just going to spin it around here, a little better perspective on the mountain. I'll just zoom in. There we go. Okay, so we're camped over here. <clears throat> I started out this road, walked up this road, then walked across. That's where I was going through some of those deep washes. Then all the way up this road, zoom in here. Um, right here is where those people were camped. And so I walked up this road, followed it along, right over to here, and you see that little clear area. Right in here was where, the, where I found the petroglyphs. So after viewing them, I walked up this little gully or wash, canyon, whatever you want to call it, and hiked my way up here. That's where I saw the big Ocotillo up here. And then I came up and right into the little saddle here. So this this part here is that, that little sharp peak. And then from there I did a few views and then oops, scrambled down right down here again. Got back on the flats and back to camp. There you go.